All right, we're rounding them up and knocking them out. And next up is a man who's been the talk of CGS. It is Cole Herdman from Purdue. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on the show. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to have somebody that uh, everybody's kind of buzzing about. You're tight end, big guy. I mean, how, how do you feel knowing that, you know, people are talking about yeah, it? No, this whole experience has been great, you know, coming to the CGS. Um, I didn't know a lot about it, but, you know, being here and meeting all the guys who run the show and, uh, you know, Jose's done a great job of, you know, making this all happen. And it's been amazing. This whole experience has been awesome. Uh, it really is uh, one of a kind. So Purdue, I mean, football, it's kind of 50-50. I think it's, it's always funny. I, I'm not uh, the biggest basketball fan. Like, I don't follow it religiously like I do football. Um, and even college football is a little hard to keep up with. But it, I still fill out the bracket every March, right? And, and I remember I'll look through and I'll get – my football college teams mixed up with the basketball college teams. So I'll be like, oh, man, Alabama's in this Final Four. Here we go. And that's definitely not the case, right? Yep, yep. So, Purdue, how, how do you feel uh, it was as far as being an athlete there? Uh, it's led you here. But, you know, how do you feel your career went and how the fans treat you, the school uh, experience, everything yeah. like that? No, um, you know, I was a, an East Coast kid. I was, you know, raised in Virginia. Um, didn't know a lot about the Midwest. Honestly, Purdue was one of my first big offers. Uh, I loved the coaching staff. I loved the entire campus. I uh, really thought it was going to be a home away from home, and it was. Um, my five years there were great. Uh, the fans there are amazing. The coaches there are amazing. Uh, people there in general are just great people, um, and I don't regret that decision. It's, it was a great five years, and I'm looking forward to making them proud in the future. So a lot of the guys here, obviously they're here because they want to make sure that their, their year – starting off on the right foot but most importantly that life after college is starting out in the right way so they see this as an opportunity to uh you know keep keep things running you know you don't want to have such a long gap between bowl season and when your pro day is when your next workout is so we're keeping you fresh we're keeping you active we're we're taking you through the motions there's going to be the big scrimmage tomorrow is that what you thought you were coming into like what was your expectations and how has it been knowing that tomorrow was your last day yeah no um like i said i didn't know a lot coming into this uh you know what it was all about but you know the practices were great we've had two um hour and a half long practices where we've got to showcase our talents in front of some scouts um make some catches make some blocking uh make it happen though in general um yeah and tomorrow's the big day the scrimmage uh (laughs) we're pumped uh i know everyone in the other room over there is talking about it and um there's a little buzz going around. Defense is talking a little smack to the offense. You know how it is. Uh, you know, offensive guys just kind of quiet, and we're going to play tomorrow and see what happens. So. I, I got to admit, guilty as charged, I love defense. Uh, the, the way that they can make uh, a game momentum shift just on a dime with a sack, a, a strip sack or an interception, I mean, it's, it's what gets me to jump out of my seat. But uh, I, I tell you, you tight ends, man, you guys are something special. And, and as a Niners fan, George Kittle and the season he had, I mean, wow. It, it makes you wonder about if the pay grade should be right about even. You know, the Antonio <laughs> right, right, Browns right. and the George Kittles. I don't know how you feel about that. But obviously, football is football, and you just want to make a contribution to whatever team you get on. Yeah. No, I think, like you said, uh, the tight ends are you know, yeah. being used more and more in the NFL. and. I'm in a great place right now. I think um, you know, from what I've heard from a lot of people, I think this is going to be the biggest tight end class actually drafted in a long time. Um, and uh, we're all excited. I know the guys I'm working with right now at practice, the other tight ends, um, we know we're all talking about it. We're excited for this draft and you know, the uh, upcoming process. Yeah, I got a chance to know uh, one of the other tight ends uh, with an interesting story, Maven Saunders, who okay. comes from the Bahamas. Uh, well, I guess that's where he's from from, but he played at uh, Florida and then moved to Kansas. So uh, he's been having a really good time here. He was excited yeah. for the opportunity. So once once this is all said and done, uh, I mean, where, where do you go from here? What's next? Yeah, so tomorrow's a scrimmage. Um, going back home for a few days just to see some family, but then next is training, uh, training in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm um, going to get some good work there, kind of prepare myself, get my body right, um, make sure all my you know, speed, bench numbers are where they need to be, uh, and then you know from there, combine and pro day after that. When it comes to preparing for like the next step, obviously – 
CGS has tried to give you a, a few different things for your, you know, your toolkit, your resume to take with you, and that is the seminars in the morning, mm-hmm. talking finances, do's and don'ts of scout interviews, draft, things like that. And then they take you out to the field, and it's just like, you know, have at it, go hit somebody. And then, of course, you come back waiting for your name to be called by the interviews. Uh, what, what to you, you know, was a completely different experience from what you thought coming in? I think something that sets CGS apart from those other senior games uh, and the senior bowl games, you know, like you said, we do have these seminars in the morning that kind of walk us through, you know, the finances, the the financial parts of, you know, the whole business. Um, We're going over, you know, what they offer, how much you might get paid, uh, how taxes play and all that too. Learn, you know, it doesn't cost the same, you know, to live in Virginia than it does L.A., two different state taxes, two different, you know, tax uh, stuff there. But, you know, it's been great. Um, All of it's been real informative. Um, Like I said, everybody who's who's, uh, contributed to help this and make this happen did a great job, and, you know, I couldn't ask for anything more. Yeah, Rod Newhouse is kind of a financial guru. We're going to actually talk to him a little later. But it was funny. I was uh, in the car ride uh, going to the stadium yesterday with him, and he's like, you know, the stuff that we talked to him about is the stuff that, probably not a lot of people have told them before and that's you know you and your buddy are in the draft one of you goes to green bay the other goes to san francisco and your buddy in green bay gets this big house and he's got like a snowmobile and and like a a fishing boat and stuff like that and you're having a hard time paying your rent on an apartment right and it's like well you know consider where you're at (laughs) yeah no mr newhouse has done a great job um he really is is an asset to this to this uh the showcase and um yeah, like you said, um, it does vary where you live, what team you play for. Um, you got to take those into account when you're, you know, signing that first contract. You got to know how much you can spend on miscellaneous things and how much you need to save too. So it's really important stuff. Yeah. Did he go over it all endorsements? Because I know a lot of players when they get drafted. Peyton Manning gave advice to, I think, Andrew Luck saying, don't take any sponsorships or endorsements your first year. Yeah. Wait until the next year. But they are important because yeah. they can set up your future financially the way that your contract can't. Yeah. Did no, he go over any of that definitely. stuff with you? Yeah, Mr. Newhouse spoke on that, too. Um, you know, We talked about endorsements. There's actually some products here and some companies that you know, came and talked to us as well. So, yeah, I mean, he told us how important that is to – you know, maintaining those financials going into your, you know, later in the years. And, um, yeah, it's a huge part of, you know, keeping yourself on the positive side of that money. How have the interviews with the scouts gone? They've gone real well. You know, I've talked to a lot of scouts, uh, got a lot of feedback, answered a lot of interesting questions. Um, (laughs) Any odd ones that stood out to you yet? uh, A couple odd ones, but, you know, for the most part, the scouts do a great job of, you know, keeping the conversation, keep making it more of a conversation um, rather than, you know, like an interrogation. (laughs) It's it's (laughs) kind of what I'll describe it to everybody out there. (laughs) Um, Yeah, but it's been great. I I really do. you know, love doing all this stuff, and it's been awesome. Uh, when when you leave here, you know, because the scrimmage is tomorrow, it's not like it's it's a full day like you guys have had the last couple. But when you leave here, and you know, let, let's say you get drafted, and it's a, a good position to a team that you're not mad about, you know, it's it's everything sort of fell into place. Are you going to look back at what you did here and be like, you know, that may have been that difference maker, that may have been what separated me from what was the next best on the board for that team at that uh, time. Definitely. This is an event that can separate you from being a guy who gets drafted or you know, being a preferred free agent or not getting picked up at all. I think this is something that can for sure set you up in the future. I think you know CGS is doing a great job of uh, helping the guys that maybe feel underrated, underappreciated, under the radar, you know, all those evil unwords that you don't want to hear, and, and giving them a little spotlight and attention, and the scouts being here, obviously, a very nice touch, and the way that it's run, uh, different from, you know, like a senior bowl, like you said, but, yeah. you know, I, I always remind the guys that are here, I said, you know, I, I want you guys to get drafted, and if it was up to me, I'd draft you all, but... Uh, Appreciate that, thank you. You know, there's a climate change in the NFL. You know, uh, Shaq Griffin, with one hand, got drafted to the Seahawks with his brother. Um, Had a great combine. 
Adam Thielen, undrafted free agent, broke a record for consecutive games over, you know, so well, many yards. And it's like you're, you're seeing more and more of those stories. So just because you didn't go to a Bama or a Clemson or, you know, even a Pac-12 team like where I'm from, WSU or mm-hmm. Stanford or whatever, like there is – chances for you guys there's opportunities for you guys okay. so I, I really hope that you guys have used this opportunity for all it's worth oh i think you know all the guys here know that um you know and like you said for some of those small school guys this is you know a great opportunity for them to you know get from under the spotlight or get into the spotlight sorry and uh make a name for themselves here at the uh, college good iron showcase Cooper Cup and Kendrick Bourne, they came from Eastern Washington University, where I'm from. So, you know, I mean, they they can come from anywhere. But, hey, man, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. You've done outstanding. I look forward to seeing you work tomorrow. So thank you you so much for your time. Thank you for having me on. Appreciate it.